Hey, good morning, Blaine Jessica. Yeah, back home in Michigan and a lot of uh, Midwestern states, folks call Mardi Gras Punchki Day. And Punchki, basically fancy Polish jelly donuts. And I got to tell you a story. So every single year, my uncle Carl, he goes out to a town called Hamtramck, Michigan, right in Detroit. And he waits in line for fresh baked Punchki on Mardi Gras. And think about how cold it is in Michigan right now. He does this at like five in the morning. He's crazy. I'm not sure if he's doing it this year because of COVID-19, but when you see what they are, I mean, it's easy to see why. So this is the finished product right here at Cafe Stella, where they've been doing it every year, about eight years now. You can see they got some raspberry jam in there uh, filled in the donut with uh, sugar on top. Oh my goodness, right out of the deep fryer. Right here we have the uh, prepped dough, so you kind of get the beginning and the end of it here. So pretty cool. And then back here, we've got some of the team at Cafe Stella. They are working hard to fill these with Bavarian cream. I got to tell you, it's become such a huge tradition here at the cafe over the last eight years. They've got about potentially 2,000 of these to make today, just about all pre-ordered from people who just love Punchki, people who maybe are transplants from the Midwest or elsewhere, or people who just grown to love them here in Hampton Roads. And so it's a very labor intensive process. Here's Stella talking about it not like okay I want punch key you know can I have them in 30 minutes it's it's probably three hours from start to finish and so after the second proofing we cut them out we proof them again we fry them and then we fill them so and then we're making our own you know Bavarian cream that kind of thing so everything's gonna be like the best tasting punch key you've ever had and so we were actually here last year and uh, you can see maybe in the video, folks not wearing masks, a little bit of a different time, right? Uh, but, you know, it was really important, Stella says, to be able to do this again this year because, you know, during times like the pandemic, people cling to traditions for a little bit of familiarity. And so that's what these punchki offer, folks. And so we're really excited to be back here again. Now, as I mentioned, they've got about 2,000 of these to make for pre-orders. And so if you haven't ordered your punchki by now or before today, Eh, you're probably not going to get any anytime soon. They do make them throughout the year for special orders, though, so keep that in mind. If you like what you see here, Chris, can we just like just get one more little beautiful pan of how good this looks? Deep fried punchki with Bavarian cream. So excited to dig into this. I know I've been teasing it all morning long. I'm going to tease you one more time here. We're going to try one of these when you make a when you when you come back in a little bit later here on News 3 and WGNT. We'll send it back to you live from Cafe Stella in Norfolk.